from Blender Tech slash Unreal Tech, and welcome to a video finally. I'm not doing any more game jams in the foreseeable future, so back to YouTube. I wanted to talk today really quick about silhouetting. Uh, I saw a really good example of it in a game jam entry, and so I thought it would be good to uh, talk about it just to uh, get back in the uh, video kind of thing, just to give myself some practice. So uh, silhouetting is a composition act that we can use of, and take note here, of taking a solid shape uh, or color of a scene's edges basically, however not an outline, to create the illusion of imagery. During the last game jam, like I, said, I saw some great uses of this, and so I wanted to mess around in Blender a bit to see what I could come up with you all to see. So here's the result we got in the end. Um, as you can see, it's quite pleasing to the eye, and these random shapes um, that look like they're really just cut out by a kid, obviously we maybe could be a city. And these little uh, cutouts, they could be snowflakes, but you would imagine them to be birds. And the trees are a giveaway just to add some depth. But it allows the imagination to go and move and think about this city when really it's just colored shapes. Um, so in Blender, we're going to do something very unusual to create what you may call art. But I just call this damn cool. So I'm just going to pause this here. When you're working with silhouetting, I'm going to go back to solid and get out a camera view. What you want to do is take all of your objects, and I haven't done this for all of them, and go to the um, object data, or just the object tab, and under cycle settings, this is, uh, I don't know how new, but fairly new, you can turn off shadows. So you would basically want to take all of these uh, actors here, sorry I'm thinking games all of these meshes and you would want to turn shadows off for them if do it one at a time apparently but that will that will allow for perfect silhouetting because there will be no shadows and all the depth will come from the silhouetting of a small light source behind it so with no shadows as you can see um, it it's just very pleasing to the eye. Um, and if we render a frame with no shadows, you can see it It just gives you a very interesting uh, look. And you can imagine, yeah, okay, cool. That, would, that could be a dark city scene. I could have spent days modeling a city and uh, in the dark and some birds or and the trees and whatever, but... By using silhouetting, I've essentially allowed your mind to fill all that in by just creating uh, basic shapes. So allowing important objects in their full shape, contrasted and well completely featureless, allows the viewer to understand what is being depicted. Obviously, if you make some random shape that's supposed to be something and it's very hard to think of what it might be, you won't get your point across, but something like this works very efficiently at making the viewer understand what it is without going through all the work of actually modeling it. So it, it's, it really is art, but it, it can be very effective. As you can see, that is quite pleasing to the eye. And we're seeing this in games a lot now where people aren't using photorealism. They're going for simple setups like this and allowing the viewer's mind to decide exactly what it looks like to them. And it's kind of, it's interesting at least. But wait, there's more for only three easy payments. Uh, I figured something out in Blender that I wasn't aware of, and I'm going to make a video on it that shows uh, all the uses of it. I don't know if it was a 2.76 or if it came earlier, but I just noticed the other day. When you grab a camera, when you select a camera and go to the camera settings, there is now composition guides, and you can turn them on. So in this scene... Uh, not only did I choose colors and use silhouetting to make it pleasing to the eye, but I used, if we go, where did the birds line up around there, I used what's called a golden triangle. And I'm going to go through all of these different composition guides. I'm sure you'll be quite aware of the rule of thirds here. But um, 
I used the golden triangle to set up my scene. Maybe it wasn't exactly this frame. Maybe it was a different one. This one right here, yes. So you can see how this um, this follows this golden triangle setup. So this tree leans over on this part of the golden triangle. Um, the entire city block follows this very long diagonal corner to corner line as well as falling sharply on this edge. The birds follow the line and um, these trees and these buildings fit into this one as well. And so really only this tree and this tree kind of contrast and fall out of here in this one. So if we were to delete it, it would it would show a lot better. Actually, that one fits in quite well as well. Um, so if we were to render this scene out, you can you can see um, you can still see the uh, the the helper lines, but if we turn them off. Um, you can see how this really is harmonious using the uh, composition technique of the golden triangle. We have the buildings flowing into the birds and everything edging together and so on and so forth. And I, I think I'm going to go over a video going through all of these because that really makes it easy to set up scenes that follow these guides that um, just work. I mean, they've been studied and used for years and years and years in physical media, so why not digital media? Um, so that can definitely improve your compositions, and we will get into that in another video. So, yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you guys uh, what silhouetting uh, can do and how effective it can be, because if you look at this, it's just some simple shapes made... Um, made out of some really planes and a few loop cuts here and there and a background and a, f a floor and a foreground of just some trees and that is it just some basic colored materials and you can see that I mean you could set this up in a matter of minutes and that is in my opinion a very pleasing image to the eye so I'd like to see what you guys could come up with on the topic of silhouetting. I think it would make a good blender artist theme. So anyways, that is uh, pretty much it. So I'm, I'm back to making videos again. I'm focusing on uh, game development because I'm going to school for computer sciences, focusing on programming and digital art. But... That means I still will be doing some art, so lots of texturing and stuff, uh, and some modeling here and there. So I am back in the YouTube game full time. And uh, some people suggested that I should accept donations for people that feel uh, inclined to give for my time. So um, I am now adding a link into the description, and I think at the ends of my videos just to www.paypal.me slash blender tech t e k um but not forcing anybody to that so anyways thanks for watching from the team here at blender tech if you enjoyed this video and learned something please like it don't forget to subscribe for more videos we're on social media on the links on your screen please tell us um what kind of videos you want to see now that we're back at it so that we can add them and work on them and we also take requests so, we'll see you guys next time. Remember, create your way.